Maliot, my little brother, was murdered in a quadruple homicide July 17, 1992. And I will never forget, I was sitting in the office of Minister Robert Muhammad, and I had revenge in my heart. I had revenge in my mind. And all I wanted to think about and all I wanted to do was take revenge. And I'll never forget Minister Robert said to me, brother, what do you want more? Do you want change or revenge? The choice is yours. I chose change. X is a mathematical number, it means the unknown. It means that we put the name X at the end of our first name because slave masters, to denote ownership of their possession of slaves, they had the slaves wear their last names. <laughs> So we got uh, like I said, I wasn't eating this. Yeah. I got a chair, I was trying to talk. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to ask Minister Kwan LX, leader and national spokesman of the New Black Muslim Movement, New Black Panthers. Boris, what you doing down there, brother? <laughs> What's happening, young fella? How you doing? Ninety-seven nine, the box eight thirty-two. Good morning. Uh, we got Quanell X in the studio with us this morning. And by the way, this portion show being brought to you by Department of Motor Vehicles of, of, Registr of Registration. Excuse me. Uh, Quanell X is in the studio with us this morning. Also, Sherry Johnson Miller. Her son was the young man that went missing last week and was left on a street corner by a deputy constable. They're trying to get down to the uh, bottom of that and get some answers for that. Also, there's another case. Uh, this happened, I believe, March twenty-fourth of this year, if I'm not mistaken, Quanell where a young man, he was a su suspect, I guess, in something else, uh, for burglary or something like that. But it ends up, this guy gets, uh, and I'm gonna say allegedly, beat by eight cops. Their opinion, the state's opinion, and the officer's attorney's opinion is that this videotape will prejudice a potential jury pool, and they will not be able to receive a fair trial here in Houston or Harris County. But I have a problem with that, because if these were some young men beating up a law enforcement officer, and it was caught on videotape, high digital, colored videotape. This is not poor quality video. This is excellent video. I'm quite confident we all could see it. But why is it now that public servants, and that's what police officers are, public servants, who are caught on a videotape committing a crime, the people now can't see it because we want to preserve their right to a fair trial. Let's not hold them to a different standard than you hold everybody else to. But I'll go directly to who I know with absolutely nothing. I remember one time in 1995 in Washington, D.C., a day before the Million Man March, a million in two days. I spoke some words at a Black Holocaust conference. The words I spoke was true. The words I spoke, they were not a lie. But the manner and the methodology and the language I chose to use was not the best language or methodology that I could have used. The language I used to some degree was this, to all Jews, they can Tell them to guard their grill and knuckle up, put your boots on, strap up, because the war is going down. I had no right to tell all Jewish people, nor that I have the spiritual or organizational authority from my spiritual father to tell all Jews, get ready for war. That was wrong, because only God 
has that authority to put a whole people at war. Because you have many in the media who have a vested interest in portraying me as the boogeyman. Are you a community activist or are you a public relations person? Because it looks like you're a public relations person when you get paid for publicity. Jessica, what I want, hold on one second, Jessica. I hear what you're saying and I understand the line of questioning that you have. But Jessica, what I am going to do is what I said I would do. It's inappropriate for me to make public comments about any of that. But you've done this for years. So or do you get paid Jessica, to Jessica, put on these press conferences? Jessica, no, I do not. To get the media here? I do here. not charge for press conferences. Well, why Never did the have. pastor call this Thank on you. his own then? And why does it, why, because we why do you call and us? we have always worked together. But one thing I can assure you, not a dime was given to me by anyone. But of course, the media did not make me. All the media can enhance what God has made because God made me. And it is God's desire when I go up or if I go down. All the media can do is enhance what God has ordained and made. Thank you. <coughs> My name is uh, Sister Maria, and I'm the sister that a lot of people in the community are familiar with. I'm the sister that lives in Haiti and works in Haiti. So this is a community, a community building. And so this building serves to serve the community across the board. So while Brother Quanell is here meeting to discuss some things that are of great concern to our community, the shootings, the police shootings and so forth, um, Sister Crystal, Brother Quanell, it's in your hands. Bishop, open us up in prayer for the Brother Speakers. Before you attempt to become an activist, Strengthen your relationship with God totally. Become a diligent student of the Word of God. Study every religion that you can. Respect everyone's religious faith. And before you attempt to become a leader in any capacity, choose to follow a leader first. Because to become the best effective leader, you must first learn how to follow. And when you follow someone, it will help you become a better leader. But before you get involved in the community and in politics, root and ground yourself in the Word of God. Because if you are not rooted in the Word of God and you get involved in politics and community issues, Satan's world will swallow you up because you are not rooted in the very armor that you're going to need to combat that. Then you can try to become an activist. 